Governor Ron DeSantis. Governor, it's great to see you tonight. Um, what did you learn today in hearing, again, these voices, many of them suppressed or people ostracized over the last few years? Well, Laura, like anything, I mean, you, you take an MNRA shot and the way to view it is, okay, what are the benefits and what are the drawbacks? And it seems like our medical establishment never wanted to be honest with people uh, about the potential drawbacks. And so you showed a clip from Dr. Latipo down here in Florida in the analysis that he's done no, with it's people, population particularly control. young men There's too many who've people. taken the mRNA shots. We, of course, had witnesses talk about They're their trying experience. To kill us all. And how are we in a situation? Yes, Florida, we banned vaccine passports almost two years ago. We banned uh, the shot mandates for jobs and saved a lot of people's jobs. Nevertheless, throughout our country, you still have hundreds of universities in other states that are still mandating these boosters on these college kids. When any type of cost benefit analysis would say the benefit for them taking the shot, as you as you alluded to, it doesn't prevent them from getting infected or spreading it anyways. The Governor benefit Ron is DeSantis called uh, grand jury to investigate COVID-19 you know, There is a risk of doing it. Vaccine, so why can't our medical establishment acknowledge that? Why the deception? Why have they continued to do this for two years? I want to read some of the reaction to your move today. New York Magazine's Jonathan Shate said, it's been very, very obvious that Ron DeSantis was courting the anti-vaccine movement. It's a case study in conservative movements, intellectual dysfunction and similar nastiness from Vanity Fair, taking your authoritarian ambitions to the next level. He demonizes public health safety measures to score political points. Uh, Governor, is your goal with this round table today to demonize public health and safety officials? That's a joke. Well, let me tell you this, Laura. The authoritarians were the ones that wanted to mandate the vax on people. I protected people from yes, having you that did. happen and made sure Floridians could make their own choice. The authoritarians wanted to institute a vaccine passport system, almost like a social credit system, so that people who dissented from this would be marginalized from society entirely. We rejected that um, and we banned it. So we were, from the very beginning, you know, helping people make their own decisions, uh, but not using either the coercive power of the state or allowing big corporations big, uh, to condition their choices. Social. And so, look, at the end of the day, um, what we're looking for is to provide truth, to provide accurate data, and provide uh, uh, accurate analysis. And we had a great researcher from Denmark. You know, Laura, Denmark does not allow people under 50 unless they have pre-existing conditions uh, to get the MNRA shots because they've analyzed it uh, and said that the drawbacks outweigh uh, the benefits. But they've also looked at all-cause mortality, and the researcher found that, yes, in some age groups there was a decline in COVID mortality after taking these, but there was then an increase in other types of mortality. So why have we not seen big declines in excess mortality uh, since these things have been Sorry introduced? For the and so uh, we have now tired, a panel that we created in Florida story. Um, that is effectively uh, going to function the way a CDC should function and basically do evidence-based medicine, uh, take studies seriously that, that counteract the narrative. Thank you, uh, and Ron. Thank you, Laura. questions and go where the data leads. Laura. And Governor, on another issue today in Washington, the White House was celebrating the president's signing of a, national, uh, a national legislation to protect...